Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, I got another video for you. So today, guys, I wanted to talk more about card fight than anything. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And if you can tell by the title of this video, it is yet another theory video. Or it's actually the first theory video since the um, news has really dropped about card fight Vanguard. And it's not covering triggers. But I want to cover cards that are potentially getting reprints in Vanguard V series compared to cards that probably won't see a reprint. So, as you know, Dragonic Overlord, Blaster Blade, and Alfred have all been confirmed for reprints. And even Wingull has been confirmed for a reprint in the new Vanguard V series. Which leads me to believe that important cards such as those are going to get C reprints, obviously. And I have five or so cards that I want to talk about and I have a few cards that could I could could be could go either way on the reprint I mean there's just so many cards from set series one that could get a reprint but may not because they've already had a reprint but let's get into it so starting off we have Margul and I thought this picture was a lot bigger guess I was wrong so Margul he is by far one of the cards that has had the most art reprints I believe since season one but hasn't actually had another unit reprint meaning until vanguard v series he was always just this add 3k royal paladin unit he didn't go to any other paladin clan and he didn't get any other unique skills in vanguard v series we see him as a draw trigger but no 3k bonus so i don't know if he's just gonna stay as that regular trigger or if we're gonna see him get an increase a new skill or something at a later date. I really hope we do get at least the 3k skill back. That would be awesome, but we don't necessarily need it back either. So, but Margul is one of those few cards that has had reprints, but hasn't had a new skin to his reprint, which is what we're going to get into now covering other units. So, um, we got to go back to being basic size so we can continue forth. Barkle! Barkle is by far was deemed as one of the most broken cards in the game for the longest time. And the reason being is his skill. He was a forerunner unit, didn't say forerunner, but he had the ability to search out not only Lou, but Flogel, which led into a combo when you search out Future Knight Lou and Flogo, and you had Barkle's Lou skills counterblast one, send Lou Flogel and Barkle to the souls to superior ride a blaster blade from deck. Now, that card was banned and is still banned for being your starter, and I used to run it in my Royal Paladin Blaster decks because for whatever reason, 90% of the games I played, I ran two of these cards and I always got one in my opening hand with Flogel or Lou. And I never got a grade two. I don't know why, I just never got a grade two. So, I would always start off by running Barkle, and I would play my Flogel tr trigger in the back, and I'd just progress my turn, and then I would, you know, search out Blaster Blade, and just be fine. So, um, this is a card I see getting a reprint or a new unit in the series, but I don't know how powerful or exactly what he's going to be but he may also not this is one of my on the fence cards because he's had other incarnations he's had barkle liberator which made him a grade one they decided after being a grade zero he was too op so you have him and you also have blaster friend barkle so honestly any of these these reprints are good and technically he doesn't need another reprint He's not all that important to the story or in and in any way, shape, or form. I mean, yes, he was one of the first four runner units, but he's had a bunch of reprints already. I don't see him get, I don't think he would need another one or potentially get another one. Um, but he's not the only unit on this list for potential reprints and cards I firmly believe I'm gonna get reprints. We're gonna talk about Future Knight Lou. So here he is, the one and only Future Knight Lou. So Lou is another one of those cards that has had a lot of new variant reprints between Gold Paladin and Royal Paladin. He started off as a critical trigger, and I believe I have his Gold Paladin went to grid 1, 
and he even climbed up to grade two and grade three. So in all reality, Lou does not need a reprint. And if you're not gonna have the Barkle Flogel Lou combo in the series in any way, shape, or form, he's really not a important unit to the story at all. I do see him getting a grade two or grade three new form, maybe even a grade one for Royals. I can see him getting new cards, I just don't see him being important enough to get new cards either. So he's another one where it could go 50-50, either way it doesn't matter to me. Because he's these cards, most of these cards, like, these, this unit and this unit are still going to end up being used in blaster decks. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But again, I don't really think too much is going to happen with him. Uh, next on the list is actual units that I firmly believe that will actually get reprints. But first off, I just want to say units like Flogel and other important units like that, other important grade zeros, should probably get reprints. I see them being, although they've had a lot of reprints in the past. <clears throat> Let's get on to our, our first unit that I think is going to get a reprint in the series is... Vortex Dragon. So Vortex Dragon has had two other reprints in Kagura. He's had a grade, another grade three reprint and grade four print. These prints are unique to the series that they're in, which is fine. So Vortex Dragon was one of the one of the units that was shown to have a unique skill, which is Counterblast Eight, or no, not Counterblast, Soul Blast Eight, Counterblast Five, Dewey Shenanigan skill. Um, I don't see this being a vital skill or the skill that he has, which is choose choose up to three, I think, of your opponent's rear guards and retire them. Honestly, that skill's no longer good. So if they're going to have um, Mega Blast, that's what we called them back in the day. It was Mega Blast, just in case you don't know. Then they're going to need to really work on a new skill, probably. I see this card getting a reprint. For where it was in the series but something similar to this level where you're not going to use it all that much and that's okay like we don't need a godlike vortex dragon and we might not even get one because again the new series could have all new cards these are just units i think that are going to get reprints because they somewhat have a resemblance to the story at key points and mega blasting was a major point at one point in the story and even uh, there's a Dark Irregular that I really like that should get one. I'll have a video. I'm working on a video for that. Next is Solitary Knight Gancelot. Honestly, I'm not going to go over him. He's getting a reprint because he's important to Aichi. If he doesn't get a reprint, then I don't know. I was just wrong here. Um, CEO Amaterasu. She's getting a reprint because she literally is a turning point for Aichi in the series. And Masaki, if you haven't seen Season 1, I recommend go watching it. It's amazing. But yes, she is a turning point, a very big part to the story. Moving on, Brutal Jack. So, Brutal Jack was a grade 2 that had restraint, which it was a really good unit at 11k. But we only saw it for a good chunk of Season 1, and then he disappeared when grade 3s were introduced as a permanent staple to the game. That being stated, though, I honestly see this card getting a grade 3 reprint for Kamui. And he's probably going to lose restraint, and he's going to have a whole new set of skills. Honestly, I would love to see Brutal Jack as a grade 3. I don't think he's had any in other incarnates in the series. So, getting a new copy of him would be amazing. And we didn't zoom in. So, I believe this is our last unit. I'm not sure. This is another Kamui unit. Which is, and I've gone over all the members of Q4 at this point, right? Kai, Kamui, Aichi, Masaki, yep. So, Mr. Invincible, another Mega Blast unit that was good for its time, but if it's going to be Mega Blast, I don't see it. Actually, this card is okay with its Mega Blast. It's actually what it should be. This unit attack hits, you may pay the cost if you do stand all of your units. Um... Not a bad card. I think if they're going to actually add him in with a Mega Blast to the series, they're probably going to remove if it hits and make it... When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost if you do stand all your units. Which, if they do, will make him so much better than what he used to be. But that is just part of the series. These are all cards that had an influx on the show. And actually, a lot of them happened within the first half of the series. 
Actually, some of them even happened within the first, like, 20 episodes. So, I think I'm just favoriting one section of the series. But, I just think these are cards that are going to get reprints from Vortex to now. The cards prior are 50-50. Could get one, could not. It doesn't matter to me. But, I don't know how they're going to be. But, I'm really excited for V-Series, guys. And, that's why I made this video. is Because, I do firmly believe that these cards are going to get reprints. And, with that being said, a lot of cards from Season 1 aren't going to get reprinted. And that's a that's a fear a lot of people are having. Like, oh, we're just going to get the same units that we had back then. A lot of your criticals and draw triggers and stuff like that, even a lot of Grand Blue units and Dark Irregular units, things that we had back in Season 1 we're probably not going to get because they weren't important to the series, so they're going to make new units to sell more stuff. And that's, that's the beauty of Vanguard is that they can reboot the series and give us new cards. And only have important cards get reprints like this so like i firmly believe we're getting a mr invincible in the first set and i can't wait to hopefully be right but i don't want to drag this out any longer guys if you did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe if you're new because it really does help me out and just let me know what you guys want to see in the future for vanguard cartoon fortnite stick fight any of those games just let me know down in the comments below but until next time guys i've been the wolf and i will see you all later peace